Hey everyone, and welcome back to Creative Paper Studio. I'm your host, Cassie. Um, today I am doing one of two videos for my Timu haul. And I got eight different products in my influencer package from them. So I decided to talk about four of the items that I got from them in this video and I will talk about the other four in the other video. So there's not much demonstration to do on the four objects I've chose to do for today's video but I am going to show you what my intentions are with them and um, how I've been using them. So the first thing is this set of six stainless steel clips. These clips are amazing. They're very strong. They're great quality. And I've used them a couple of times for different things. I wanted to use my products um, before I did the review on them so that I could give my true feelings about them. Because I'm not going to sit here and say that I like a product if I don't. And all of these products so far, I am loving. So these are very strong um, they're the perfect size for what I needed them for. For example, um, I've just taken some of my coffee dyed papers here and kind of ripped them in half and then folded them in half. When I am putting a journal together, I like to push my pages down, my signatures, and then I like to clip them in place. So I hold them and I clip them in place. And if it's a bigger journal, I use four. So I make sure everything stays in line, like so. And now when I close it up, everything's nice and tidy and tucked in where it's supposed to be. And then I can poke my holes and sew through it. So I, I love these. Another way that I plan on using these is to journal with. So when you open up your book, you know, it doesn't want to stay open all the time, especially if you get, you know, gluing things into it or whatever. So I wanted them so that I could hold my pages open like so. And they work perfect. They're great. They're absolutely great for this. So, anyway, I love the clips. I highly recommend them. There will be a link in the description box down below on the products and the prices of them. And if you click on the first link, it'll take you to all eight of my products that I got. And you can order from there. So, this notebook was like $11 or something like that, and I absolutely love it. I love the feel of it. I love the magnetic clasp on it. I love that it holds your pen right here with your notebook. It keeps everything together nice and tidy for you. I went ahead and did a little bit of decorating in here. I've used some Tim Holtz fabric washi tape. I just, I like it, so I decided to use that in here just to decorate it up a little bit. And I'm using this um, as my book journal. So I enjoy reading, and I want to keep a list of books that I've read this year. My goal is to read 12 books this year. I know to some that may be, you know, a pretty small number, which it, you know, probably is, but I'm a slow reader. I enjoy reading. I read for enjoyment. I don't read to say, oh yeah, I read, you know, 133 books this year. I read to enjoy it. So anyway, I've already read two books this year, which is great because we're still in the first month. So I'm on track to meeting my goal. So I've wrote that in here. And as you can see, there's no bleed through, even though I went in and 
did all these lines and stuff you can see through the page a little bit but there's no bleed through and I really like that and I used a pilot g205 which is you know a wet ink but it's it's great because it it didn't smear you know it's on there you can see through the page but it didn't bleed through the page and then here is my want to read list that I've started and you know so far I have that but I haven't put anything else in here yet um I do really really like this notebook it just the feel of it it's nice smooth paper writing in it is nice um I just it's it's really nice quality and you know like I said I'm not gonna lie to you about any of the products so love the journal love the clips now I haven't played with this a whole lot but I have used it as a regular stapler and she works nice and dandy very easy to replace your staples or add staples in there it takes your standard size staples um, but anyway this is my 360 so there's that setting that setting then you can go there and it does the same thing for the other side so very useful stapler for my kind of crafting and the reason I say that is because I can open it up like this and then I can get right in there and staple it right where I need it to be stapled same thing on this side I can just get right in there and staple it right where I need it to be stapled take those clips off of there and boom you've got yourself a little notebook that's stapled together and you don't have to have one of those long staplers that's you know the long reach stapler this does just fine um it's it's perfect i i love it it's it's lightweight but yet it's good quality um and then you know like on a lot of staplers if it rotates you have to move your plaque down here as well and this one they've already got all the notches in there for you so no matter which direction you turn your stapler which you can even do it this way as well if you're doing like bulletin board type stuff or anything like that you can use it open and then just push down like that as well but they've got everything there for you so you don't have to move that you just swing it out and it swings out very easily you know real nice to use so I love that and that's gonna come in so handy for a lot of my projects so the fourth product I want to talk about are these bags and I have them kind of put away right now in my drawer um, but you get five bags and they're different colors on the top uh, I think there's red yellow green blue I don't know what the other color is but anyway you get five of these bags they are I think they're the a5 a a4 size maybe I'm not sure but they're like a plastic bag but they've got like this meshy feel to them which makes them stronger than what they appear to be they are very lightweight they're very flexible and pliable if you need to fold them in half to store them but I'm using them as my little project bags so I have a great big journal going on right now that's a grungy journal so it's like all neutral colors and browns and tans and greens and and stuff like that and so I'm using it to keep all of my small bits and pieces and scraps in which is amazing 
the zipper on here works phenomenal. You know, it's just a very easy zip. You know, hardly any effort at all to zip and unzip it. And there's plenty of room in here. Like, as you can see, I have these full eight and a half by 11 pages and they just, you know, slide right in, fit in there perfectly. I've got my jute in here. I've got scraps of paper in here. I've got lace and my cheesecloth in here. I've got other scraps of paper. Um, let's see what else. I've got some lace in here. You know, I have a piece of ephemera I've started making. You know, I've got tickets in here. There's actually another set of tickets in here. I have some fussy cuts I've done and I've got some of these little label clusters I've made. I mean, this thing just holds a lot of stuff and I got them for this reason, for project bags. So, you know, if I wanted to throw my ink and my ink brush in here and just in my glue, so, okay, my glue bottle fits in there. My inking tools would fit in there and my ink would fit in there. So, like, I can throw all this stuff in here and then all I have to do is take this with me. I have paper, I have lace, you know. Let's stick in a pair of scissors. You've got your whole kit right here to take with you, you know, like in the car. Oh, goodness, excuse me. In the car, you can take this with you and have a little kit. Um, you know, if you want to put this project aside and work on something else, then you can just take your journal and your project bag and set it aside and then get out another bag for your next project and then swap between the two. So I'm really loving these bags and I love the size of them and they were not very expensive at all. Like I said, all their stuff on their site is really inexpensive. And um, also, like I said, I wouldn't say I like something if I didn't. I am not getting paid by them to review their products. Um, I did get their products for free. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and tell you I like it if I don't, because I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. Um, I would not want to be misled on products, you know, like told, Hey, this is an awesome product. Go buy it. And then I buy it and it's, it's junk. Um, I wouldn't appreciate that very much. So I'm not going to do that to you guys. So anyway, again, like I said, the items will be in the description box down below. There will be a link. There is also a code for you guys um, to get a percentage off on your order um, in my description box. So make use of that. Um, and anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of talking and not really crafting or anything like that, but I think it's important to touch base on each one of the products and give my true review. Like I said, I've been using these products a little bit um, for the last like week or so, and I wanted to use them for a while before I did a review so I could give you my honest opinions on them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch for video number two to this because I'm going to review the other four products um, that I got from them as well in my influencer package. And that one will be a little bit more of a crafty video, but I'll also be talking about the products as well. So again, be sure to check that description box below for the link and the code to get a percentage off of your pro purchase. I'm... I think it's like 20% off or 30% off, something like that. 
but just go ahead and check the description box for it. Please give this video a thumbs up, like it, and share it if you want to get the word out there about Tim Yu and their amazing products. And until next time, guys, stay healthy and keep it crafty, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.